Hi all, Red Sphere here. Um, making a video on um, it's gonna be a relatively short one probably, but um, on addiction in TBMC. Um, sorry, this is just me talking today, but um, yeah, we're relatively low on energy at the minute. It's a bad time of year, so you know, keeping things as low key as possible uh, where we can. Um, so. Obviously, uh, content warnings apply for uh, TBMC in pretty high levels of vagary here, and uh, drugs as a general thing. We're not mentioning any specifics in this video. Um, obviously, if you want more information on specific things, um, you know we might be able to do a video on that at some point, and you can ask us to do that, and we may or may not. But you know, uh, we have to. A, stick to what we're confident we know enough about, and B, stick to stuff that we can talk about relatively safely for us as well. So, you know, um, we can't guarantee something if you do make a request, but, you know, feel free to do so if you are interested in something specific. Um, obviously, you know, um, be careful with how you word things and stuff. All of that applies when making a request and so on. But, yeah, okay. So, um... Obviously, oh, not obviously, I suppose, otherwise I wouldn't have felt the need to include this in the script, but, um, TBMC does not automatically bring with it addiction. Um, it is something that's often fallen into, but they are not synonymous with one another in either direction, obviously. Well, yeah, again, not obviously, because I have to state it, but, um, hopefully relatively clearly, um, and that comes from two main sources, so obviously the... Um, first core source of this is uh, the relatively common practice of survivors having been given various psychoactives um, to make them more pliable and vulnerable at various stages. Um, this can um, include things like specific headmates being cued by specific psychoactives, for example, um, and um, this can also, yeah, um, but yeah, um, this can of course build an addiction in itself, as well as increase future risks, because this builds up tolerances and obviously can be cues for various, um, yeah, they can then be linked into cues as well, so, you know, um, reasons to be cautious there, um, but obviously, you know, um, the other primary source, of course there are other reasons to do with the fact that a lot of psychoactives are just addictive and people, you know, have them for fun and get addicted or, you know, um, specific medical stuff leading to it and other things, you know, outside of this, you know, there are other reasons, obviously, otherwise people wouldn't get addicted outside of this, but yeah, uh, obviously, um, as with other trauma survivors without access to good mental health support, um, you know, it's relatively common to turn to some form of self-medication, and a lot of the time, self-medication comes in the form of psychoactives, in some form, um, you know, to help deal with some form of the symptoms, essentially, you know, um, whether that be something mind-numbing to, you know, take, to slow down effectively and, you know, reduce anxiety, that sort of thing, or some sort of upper to reduce uh, depression-like symptoms, stuff like that, depends obviously on the symptomology and scenario and, you know, the individuals taking them, but, you know, um, as a, it's a relatively common path to that sort of, to addiction is, you know, um, I need something to help get me through the day, and then that I need something to get me through the day becomes an addiction because you do it every day and at some point you can't stop, even if you don't need it for self-medication reasons any longer, you know, it becomes a necessity rather than a helpful tool somewhere along the path. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything, I think. Um, so yeah, short video today. Um, sorry about that. It's, yeah, difficult time, obviously, you know. Um, well, if you're watching this around the time this comes out, or look at the date this comes out, you, you'll probably understand why this might be a difficult time. Uh, we do actually have a video on uh, why particular times are difficult. Can't remember when we recorded that. Probably around this time last year. <laughs> it seems about right. But yeah. Um, 
yeah, cool. I'll leave you to get on with your days, hopefully. This system signing out. Hope to catch you all next week. Please do remember to like, subscribe, comment, especially if you've got any questions you want answered. Be happy to answer them either in the comments or in another video. So catch you all next week.